Welcome to Attican Plays Railway Empire. All right, welcome to part four of the automobile. Now, this dance we're doing, loading this one up, you know we're going to have to do this again in Toledo. I think we're going to do a little different tactic, and I'll show you where maybe a warehouse is a good thing. Even if it's only serving one city. Because we're just running out of convenient ways to run this stuff into the city. But we can... We can use a different tactic for um, our, our Toledo build. And let's run at least three trains. At least three trains in here. One, two, three, and we'll make it four. They're so cheap, and we we want to keep it constant. This guy costs a lot of money. Hmm. Three point five. Oh man. Seven three. Oh, we could easily buy her. Okay, okay. Let's just run it and buy her. Are we okay on our time here? Uh, fair, fair. Let's just go ahead and buy her, though. Get it over with. We gotta get I to work on Toledo, love though. Doc McTasty's extra creamy cream confections. Oh no! It looks like one of your trains has a problem. I can assure you that your money is well invested in my company. You now stand unrivaled in the transport business. Okay. Niles! Niles! All right. I'm leaving! Good, and goodbye, Beatrix. Now, we don't have to listen to her anymore. 
let's just make sure we got Rochester is growing thank goodness it's almost there it's still so hard to get any huge growth when you get up this big at 120 is a tough number our steel industry let's bump it up one more okay so all right, Rochester, you keep growing, please. And we're going to go, we got Chicago, again, is also right on the cusp. Yeah, see how he's, see how this car industry is missing gasoline? He's used them all up. He's, he's dried up. So his value should, in theory, go down. That's what we're hoping. And we're going to have to feed. All right, Rochester's still growing. Thank you. Uh, da -da. Toledo, Toledo. All right. All right, at this point, we're just building up Toledo. It's kind of a vanilla using a warehouse build. If you want to see how to build a warehouse into a system, uh, I would recommend that you watch the warehouse series of videos. And um, this one, I, I didn't do anything special, and I also I'm not particularly proud of it. So uh, I, we're going to fast forward through this and uh, then pick it back up when we're ready to make a, a fairly key move uh, in terms of hitting all our objectives. See how the profits have dropped a little there? Because this guy isn't doing anything now. What's he worth now? Aha, now he's getting more reasonable. Right. We just bought him. Instead of complaining, build your own automobile factory. That's more like it. Now we can start shipping petroleum back to him. That'll take a few minutes. All right, let's shock. Now it's just basically a matter of building up Toledo to have our three cities hit 120,000. So we're going to do a little more fast forwarding. All right, we're just kind of ripping through this uh, because, honestly, it's kind of boring. Uh, I was getting bored at this point. I'm just trying to grow Toledo to finish off the uh, mission. And uh, my tragic flaw has finally dawned on me. Somewhere around here, it dawns on me. And you'll see the, um, 
objective screen pop up once and then you know, you'll see me come right back to it and that's what right here it pops up and I come back to it and stare at it and go oh my god and here's the deal I was planning on making Toledo my third city to complete my 120,000 well I was trying to get Toledo to 200,000 and I don't know about your neck of the woods but where I come from a city hits 120,000 before they hit 200,000. Duh. So uh, my plan was terribly flawed. I tried to see if there was any way I could just delay it and, um, you know, grow another city and then grow, um, well, what should I say? Oh, grow Toledo and then grow another city after that. And I decided that there wasn't, and after all this work, I was not going to fail this scenario. So I just let it, let it ride. And uh, we're going to go ahead and fast forward all the way out to the uh, finishing screen. And again, I kind of apologize for skipping all this, but honestly, it's just more building and more and more and more and more and more. And I promise you that I will do a future video where we're doing an actual scenario and we use warehouses in them effectively. And we, we use them, I use them here effectively. I mean, I grew Toledo with, with the warehouse and with some direct lines. But... Um, I promise you that we will have one where we take our time. All right, let's see how we did. Well, we got our president level. We hit 9 out of 10 tasks. Our timing was pretty good, 17.7 out of 20. Uh, the growing Toledo, the growing three cities was the slowest thing. 35.5, that's respectable considering we weren't doing the Trainiac. And so we did okay. Um, I'm, I'm very happy with the uh, beginning and the basic strategy and that four city cluster. I'm disappointed I didn't do a better job building that out. But uh, at any rate, I hope you enjoyed this one, and uh, I, I enjoyed playing it. It did get old at the, at the end, especially when the realization hit me that I was not going to be able to do all 10 tasks. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it'll help you become a better player, and I hope you'll join us for our next Railway Empire video. Thank you.